This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Parrish, and you are listening to the Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Legends of the Universe. I am Phil. Joining me, finally, it is. Hey y'all, it's Blue Hellfire. Sorry, I'm late. Here. Sleeping Beauty. Anyway, yeah, got a lot for you tonight. We got two episodes of Star Girl, one finale of Legends of Tomorrow. Some Jake Eric talk. And oh, hey, 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 they decided how, what they're going to do for Batwoman Season 2. <laughs> Which. What a joke. Oh, we'll my. That. Oh, my lord. <laughs> it just seems, I don't want to say lazy, but. I don't know. All right. No, because Mama's. What? Hello. Ah, uh, here. What'd you say? I said Mama's got an unpopular opinion. It's it's fine. We'll get to it. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, let's get to about it. About that. Well, so, what's the unpopular opinion? <laughs> I think most people are good. Like, oh, good. I didn't like Ruby Rose's Batman anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine, but I guess she's not. They're gonna they they cast a new woman, but she's not gonna be Kate Kane. She's gonna be a completely original character. Oh, I know, and I don't think it's an original character. I think they're going to pull from a female from the Bat Batman uh, family. Okay, I think it might be cast, or it might be or somebody like that. Yeah, but I thought the original plan. <laughs> w- Actually, see from. Oh, you're cutting in and out. Uh, but no, I thought the original plan was um, for, I don't know, for this new character to just become the new Batwoman. So would they put like a Stephanie Brown or someone in the Batwoman suit? Because I know. If Felicity can marry Oliver, anything goes. That's this true. Is the Arrowverse. Because I know last night you were like one well, messenger. You were saying, yeah. If Black Canary can be a network and not just one woman's legacy. True. But I just didn't know, like, I know you were talking about Stephanie Brown and uh, Cassandra Kane last night, and I'm just like, I know they're not going to do them as Batgirl. So, somebody can replace that one. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, are you there? That's where you're cutting out. I'm here. Okay. But, yeah, here. yeah, I it's, agree. I don't know. It just seems weird. Like I said, do a, do a new character. I just, it... But again, if you're going to do this this show, or if you're going to inject a character, even if it's like a DC known DC character like Stephanie Brown or something, it's like, you know, Kate had all these like personal connections that, you know, the main villain was her sister, you know, her dad's hunting her. Now you're going to bring in a character who has like no connections to any of these people. I don't know. They should have just redid. They should have just rebooted as something else. I don't know. Like I said, do a Catwoman show. Do a Hunter show. <laughs> Why can't we get a Green Arrow in the Canaries? <laughs> Make some room. I really like the people. Hmm? See, I'm losing you, I think. But, I mean, that's... Uh, their whole problem is they... <laughs> yeah, Rob Robert Southgate said they should have just recast. Brian Peters says they should just bring in uh, Barbara Gordon, for gosh sake. Uh, another great decision. <laughs> I see you, Rob. But, I mean, yeah, Brian, I don't know about the whole Barbara Gordon thing, because aren't they having plans for her in the movies, and you know they don't like to, like, double dip like that. Uh, yeah, it just, seem, it just seems so weird. I mean, the time to do it, I mean, Ruby Rose should have told them around the time they were doing Crisis, although I don't know how early they were filming that, is that then they could have just crisis it and said, oh, you know, it's still Kate. She just looks completely different. I said I just wanted them to give it to Alice, you know, the, well, the actress who plays her sister Alice. I mean, in the comics, they were twins anyway. Kill her off as the villain and just make her Kate. <sighs> yeah. Lost both Hellfire for a second. But, yes, it's just... I thought they were going to do a thing. I mean, they've already done face swaps on this show. I thought they were just going to, like, face swap her with somebody or 
just something like that. But I guess not. <laughs> Again, it just seems very weird. After even after just like one season, I just wonder if that makes sense. Yeah, the whole crisis thing. It's like, come on, they could have they easily did have done that. Uh, or they should have like retold, did something. Uh, they would say, yeah. I know, Brian, they've been saying for years they're going to make a Batgirl movie. They haven't done anything we didn't use in the... Pro, uh, but nothing. Yeah, I know. I mean, they've been they've been screaming about Batgirl and Nightwing movies for years now. I mean, my favorite character, Nightwing. I don't know if I want them to touch them at these, these this point in this universe. Hello, Lilith yeah. Hellfire. <laughs> that should be better. Okay. So, lay it on us, girl. I didn't like Ruby Rose. I thought it was a mistake to cast her because she had various you know, issues and things like that. I thought it was a bold choice, and I just felt like something in the back of my mind was going to happen like this. And, you know, this is a universe where things don't always go according to plan, and they make the best of it. Like, uh, you know. Yeah. I mean... Like, I think that they could still salvage it. And, like, honestly, I would like anyway. Scrap it all. Goodbye. Yeah, like I said... Maybe I- keep Hush. That's the, only, that's the only thing I really like. Exactly, and I didn't like them using Hush anyway because he had like a personal connection with Bruce. Doing a doing like a making him a villain on this show made like no sense to me. I don't know. Oh, Brian yeah. was Brian was saying, have, "Oh, I was just saying have the Alice uh, actress do it," but Brian's saying uh, have Alice the character take over says do like a redemptive arc. Definitely, I, I love Rachel. Um, mm-hmm. I was familiar with her uh, her CW work with uh, Rain, and I was just she. I think she did a great job as Alice. Oh yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. So. Do they want Robert Southgate? Yes. Yes, we know DC's a mess. It's a flaming dumpster pile, Rob. We know, okay? But we br- know. But Brian, Ruby just never felt like she was having fun. <laughs> yeah, she know. Uh, I mean, you can always say, yeah, because it's a plane. She's playing a bad character, but I don't know. I, I gotta keep the character, uh, the new character, a lesbian, but I, I get it. Although we have plenty of representation in the Arrowverse, but I still kind of get it. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's like, it's fine. I mean, I have no problem with a lesbian character, but doesn't it just seem very convenient that the last woman in that suit was a lesbian? So it's like, yeah, let's go out and find another, you know. That's the Can other- we get somebody that's ace or paint in or something else then? It does that. You know what I mean? Like There you go. Ugh. There you go. Yeah, bring in somebody who isn't white. Yes. Something. <laughs> I mean, <gasps> or you know what? Just get, get the banks. Have the things. So it just becomes. The, <laughs> you're you're getting choppy. You know. You're getting choppy again. But no, I, how about the stepsister? <laughs> I mean, you'd have to like, uh, I don't know, explain how you know she's been training over the summer or something. I don't know, but yeah, you'd have to address the fighting skills. But I mean, you have her. I just wonder how they're going to do this at all. Are they going to have her and uh, Luke run? You know, is is Kate going to get killed or is she going to disappear like Bruce? And they're like, oh, we need someone else for the suit. Yes. It, it, the whole thing just seems weird to me. It's a cursed position. It just seems very awkward. I mean, I, I think it would, it would seem less awkward even if they just recast. Even if the actors looked nothing like Ruby Rose, I would think it would just be like, okay. You know, we're not, you know, just deal with the kids. <laughs> this is what we're doing now. So. <laughs> what? Are you there? Lilith, are you there so we could talk some Stargirl and Legends of Tomorrow? <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, But hey, did everybody see, um, we gotta play catch up, uh, Stargirl episodes two and three. Uh, every, uh, there was more to Kate than being a lesbian. Let's see, Brian, what you say. Uh, and it is sadly all they seem to focus on. They could make that teen hacker, but they really should just recast. Yeah, yeah, Stargirl is really good. Um, everyone I've seen, even uh, Charlie Esser, uh, Mr. Marvel, is, he's loving that series too. Uh, but yeah, every, I've, I've seen nothing but rave reviews for Stargirl. Uh, just, uh, like I said, I've, People of all ages seem to like it because, like, I know like Tyler was even saying that you know he can watch this with it. He can watch Star Girl with his kids, and you know it's a family friendly show. Um, but yeah, see, uh, episode two was good. Uh, the whole thing with Brainwave that was uh, that was a decent fight. And they uh, spoilers uh, short circuited his brain, sort of, kind of, sort of. Uh, 
And then this week we got episode three with Icicle. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes ice powers can be kind of weird, but I think they've been handled. I think they handled it pretty good. Hello, little hellfire. <laughs> Uh, I think there's a hole in my Ethernet cord. <gasps> Were you chewing on yeah. it in your sleep? Anyway, <laughs> Stripes was the best episode. Fight me. Yeah, what did you think of the JSA stuff? It's, I think it's really good and respectful. I, I love it. I can't believe. So I can't believe they actually mentioned Jay Garrick. We we fingers crossed. Mm, and we and Green Lantern. I'm surprised. <laughs> yes, that's very cool. But that kind of makes. Since you're getting kind of chop, you're getting kind of choppy again. Hold that cord in your hand. Kind of. But Brian said, "Yeah, you can see Jeff uh, put his heart into it, and I just love that old school JSA." Yep, and to hopefully see a new Green Lantern and Johnny Thunder. Yes, Johnny Thunder. Yes, say you. I was just wonder, are we gonna get? Uh, yeah, Green Lantern. I didn't think they were gonna go with the Green Lantern stuff. At least not yet. Uh. But yeah, I'm so I'm, I just wonder if we're gonna see the Thunderbolt. Are we gonna see some form of Green Lantern? Because she did take that power battery. Uh, but yeah, I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't think they were just the way they were playing it the first two episodes. I didn't think they were gonna address uh, Flash or Green Lantern, at least not yet. I don't know. But I just wonder how they're gonna deal with like <laughs> these high schoolers taking over. Because like, do you think do you think Beth has any fighting skill? <laughs> It's, it almost seems like, yeah, of course. I just, I just want to see how this going. But yeah, I'm like, a, I'm like, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. I like what they're doing on Star Girl. Like Brian, like you said, you know, you can tell Jeff's putting his heart into it and stuff. Uh, hey, it's, uh, you know, yeah, Jeff's putting his heart into it because, you know, the character is based on his sister. You know, he always has the big love for the character. So I'm glad he's like in there pitching in, doing his thing, whatever. Uh, but yeah, the villain Icicle, I mean, he's like nuts. I, <laughs> I mean, I could almost see it come in when he killed, uh, uh, what's his face, his kid. But then when he kills one of his own guys, I'm like, isn't that stupid? You're killing off one of your allies, even though, you know, I thought he was going to kill the son and blame it on Stargirl, but now he's just going on a murderous rampage and, <laughs> and trying to steal, uh, Stargirl's mother, maybe <laughs> seems to have a fondness for her. Uh, but yeah, Stargirl's really good. Uh, I've been trying to watch it in both, what, uh, formats, but if nothing else, I watch it on DC Universe because they do have the extra footage. Although this week, I don't know if there's, if there was much footage because even on DC Universe, it was only 44 minutes. So I wonder if that was, that was always the plan or if they're like trying to, I mean, they're all filmed, but I don't think they'd be cutting them to fit the CW mold. I mean, you're pay- I mean, we're paying for C- DC Universe. So, I mean, hey, if you've got the extra footage. Give us the extra footage. Uh, ice, uh, here, Brian, I'll put... Uh, ice School is the best villain we got right now. I mean, when you kill a kid, you aren't playing around. I- exact. He would... I think he would have killed the whole bus of kids. Yeah, but yeah, I love how, the, you know, it's like an all-ages show, but yeah, the villain's not holding back. I kind of like it. It's kind of... I think it's... I'd say it's more grounded... It, probably the most grounded in reality show we've gotten in at least since Arrow, <laughs> which is kind of surprising because just the, uh, just because of the superpowers and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that is funny because, and Lilith Hellfire. All right. I bet you're on your own your phone. <laughs> yes. All right. So yes. Thoughts on Stargirl episode two and three. Uh, two stripes was the best, but the third episode was pretty good too. But I, I really love stripes. I think they're knocking it out of the park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, did you see? Yeah, this this week's episode was only forty four minutes. You think that was just coincidence, or are they are they trying to pare it down to like a CW length show? Can't hear you. <laughs> you can't hear me. There you go. Now you're low again. Come on. <laughs> so you sound you're very muffled. I can't, can't even hear you. Uh, can't hear you. It's like very, very, very muffled. Oh. All right, you there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, do you think they're pairing it down to a CW length uh, show? 
on purpose or did it just happen to be that way this week? It just happened to be that way. Okay. Yeah, because I'm on DC Universe. I'm like, 44 minutes? I'm like, what the hell? I want my extra footage. So, ooh, CW people, you might have got the full episode. Uh, Brian, sometimes we get these villains that are just meh and forgettable. Isolable Ghoul will be one we talk about for a long time, like Kingpin on Daredevil. Yeah, if they don't screw it up, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Icicle's gonna be a good one. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're uh, still satisfied with Wolfhart and getting on Stargirl Lilith. Absolutely, without a doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, unless they change course or go down, yeah, that seems like they're keeping the quality. Without a doubt. Thank you, Miles. <laughs> That's right. Uh, like I said, Charlie was messaging to me to me about Star Girl today, Mister Marvel, and he's he sees he's enjoying Star Girl. Really, that's yeah. interesting. So you don't even have to be like a huge DC fan to enjoy the show. And like Tyler was saying before, you know, he can watch it with his kids. It's an all ages show, but it's good. See, you don't have to get all grim and gritty, DC. Hopefully, this is the lesson that they learn. I hope so. <laughs> you don't have to have f bombs every two seconds. <laughs> Not that I mind it, but I do no. I do find it charming that um, you know, people of all ages can watch because I think um with the JSA it's it's a learning lesson. Yeah. It's cool. And I th- and I think it wouldn't fit this show anyway, because like we said, it is like a throwback kind of almost like because it's in Blue Valley and it's so like, you know, it's supposed wholesome. To, supposed to look like supposedly. The 50- supposed to look like the fifties in certain respects. But yeah, I can't wait to see what they do with that. All right. Let's get the Legends. <laughs> the finale. Season 5 finale. I'm sorry to see Maisie uh, Richards, uh, Sellers Richardson go, but Charlie has overstayed her welcome, and I thought it was a good ending to that character. Yes, yes. It was a good ending. Uh, <laughs> I think we got rid of the wrong Zari. <laughs> Aww. I mean, I like the original one better, but I guess, you know, for the we had to do it for the brother. I mean, she's still in the totem. I guess we could get her back somehow eventually, but uh, I miss the old Zari. Um, I missed her with Mig. I still don't like the thing with Nate, but it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mick was actually in on the action this time. <laughs> they, they were saving up for the finale. Apparently. <laughs> was the thong song on sale? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Cisco needs that money. <laughs> <laughs> Not not our Cisco, but you know, nineteen ninety nine Cisco. <laughs> yes, you're right, Brian. Uh, yeah, it's DC's problem. I bring it up all the time. When we were kids, we had Batman cartoons, Superman, Batman Beyond, Justice League, Lois and Clark. But DC just is too serious and not family friendly anymore. As for Legends, we need Booster Gold. Dang it! <laughs> it's in development hell. I'm sorry, my friend. I totally agree that this is the perfect show for him, but. Warner Brothers does not agree with any of us. I was and apparently, s- they know everything. I was going to say, are they saving uh, Blue Beetle and Booster for a movie or, or hoping? Yeah, for a movie? that movie. It's actually a, a team movie, and it's been in development hell since as long as the Flash movie uh, with Ezra Miller's been trying to be made. So, you yeah, know. Yes, uh, Sarah, uh, Sarah got her ice eyesight back. Uh, oh my Ooh, lord! I liked Blind Sarah. <laughs> I was like, "How daredevil of you!" Cool. I know that would have been cool. She would have got some kind of radar sense. Oh man, that that magic trick with Constantine was awesome. When he like kind of like went sideways through the floor. <laughs> what? Why do I feel like we're losing Matt Ryan on Legends? Uh, and it's not like a farewell season for him as much as it did for um, Maisie and her character. Oh, because because so. Astra got out of hell. Yeah, it's like we've resolved that. We hey, Constantine fans, I know it was a stupid roundabout way that we did it. We did it, guys. I mean, no um, Newcastle crew needed. He had the legends. I mean, unless we're planning a uh, comeback of Constantine on HBO Max, maybe. I don't know, but it just, it feels weird. It, it feels very like I'm getting that, that Brandon Roth feeling like, hmm, somebody wants to move on and do something else, maybe. <laughs> because Matt is the best thing they got. Of course he will leave. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Look at Brian over here dropping truth bombs. <laughs> I mean, hey, 
what are the two things people love that got canceled? How about HBO Max? We get like a Constantine uh, Swamp Thing show. Dude, seriously, we honest to goodness do need that. We need some sophisticated suspense in our life. I mean, HBO Max. I mean, you can go, you can go dark. You can go, you know, R rated, whatever. I think that's what they need. Um, you know, it it doesn't have to use the R rating, but it, it should just like kind of be threat, vaguely threatening in the back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brian's like, oh, they uh, they go to HBO and lead dark with Swamp Thing. I don't know if he need. I don't know the whole thing with Legends. I don't know if he needs like a huge team. It's like him, Swamp Thing. I don't know, maybe an assistant or two. That's that's. Bring Gary. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Gary's like, yes, please. Oh my god. I ship it. But the end of the season. End of the season, Lil. They had to squeeze Mona back in. Really. Um, I I didn't mind her. I think she is yeah. a character that can work in very 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 small doses kind of like original felicity from season one yeah i mean that's all i can say they didn't like kill us with it this season you know she was what in the first episode and then they brought her back for this yeah (laughs) for the fate watch (laughs) yeah i did think the penultimate take a drink uh episode was really cool i dug it but like it's kind of become um legends formula almost you know what i mean like the channel jumping thing Mm -hmm. genre jumping and i kind of like that they've come into their own with that particular uh like motif and device so Mm -hmm. we didn't you know we got i I like um mr parker's colder sack but i was hoping that um secretly brandon had come back and it was him was was it just me when i heard the music i was like come on please brandon just just a little no it's like oh yeah because they got the other guy back so that was cool yeah because wasn't it courtney ford as marie antoinette again yeah, I was like, "Come on, the wife's there. Come on, Brandon." Brandon's like, "You go ahead, and get that paycheck. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good." <laughs> Unless he just wanted to go out on the on that sweet ending on that high note instead of just like, "Yeah, no, I don't want my last thing to be Mr. Parker's neighborhood <laughs> called us that." Which no, he's the one that kind of introduced it into his favorite character. So I almost thought that mm. that, that would have been like super cool. Yeah, but and the and the Star Trek uh, parody. <laughs> I'm just like, man, Sarah and. Uh, Ava were packed in their shirts tighter than Shatner ever was. I know. And that's a feat. Oh, yeah. Um, I I did dig it. And I was like, oh, the repressed song. I was just like, hashtag relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So. so Legends th- has become the show that, you know, if you're a DC fan, you should probably be watching because it doesn't take itself so seriously. Mm-mm. Plus, it's like, the fun show for sure. Plus, like half those characters aren't even are like original characters and not even from the comics. So it's like you come yeah. in, you come in, you don't need no lot. Wait, do they even have me? Like, what is it? Just Mick? Is he the only one that's like from the comics at this point? Oh, and Nate, but not really. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a steel, but I mean, and Constantine. Yeah, pretty much. I think maybe that that's the problem. That's not. That's my thing. I'm just like, man, there's not even really that many, you know, co- characters from the comics left. And that sums it up. That sums the CW up, basically. Etrigan? Like, yeah, Brian. <laughs> I think that's too effects heavy. No way they're too heavy. Oh, no way. Why do you think Firestorm's gone? <laughs> For other reasons, but yeah. Well, yeah. We could have we brought, we could have kept Firestorm. We could have went back and got, we met the other guy. That yeah. was compatible, and it, it's just interesting that they didn't go that route. Yeah, they could have created a completely new Firestorm, but yeah, I think they're just like, oh, we can save that film budget? Okay, cool. Exactly. Uh, Which was the coolest thing about Legends originally. It was like, oh, look, you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, enough about Legends. Um, so, I'm really thinking next season is their last season, so I hope they go out with a bang. You keep saying that. Oh, well, like I, honestly, look at the look at the Flash's budget. Look at everybody else's budget. Legends is like the show of misfits that you know nobody really cares about. I'm just <laughs> I'm just scared because are the cracks starting to show in the Arrowverse? I mean, Ruby Rose is leaving. Uh, I know you were saying maybe Grant maybe doesn't want to be there as much on the Flash. Uh, yeah, I mean he's 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 put in his time. Let's make no mistake, and the Flash is showing its age as well. So. so I wonder, is Super or is uh, Batwoman still going to do a crossover with Superman and Lois? That's going to be kind of awkward. <laughs> hey, new girl. I, I think that I think they need to cancel that for sure because yeah. we don't want Superman stepping off on the wrong foot either. So I think that they need to just yeah nix that because it'd be like, hey, new girl who just showed up five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. 
I still have you. I was really pumped for a world's finest episode too, though. That that's the bummer. That's yeah. the kicker. <sighs> I know. Yeah, because you're gonna have to do it on you. Were, they were doing it on Superman and Lois because Supergirl's not coming back until mid season, which would probably be what next summer. At this point, which you know, I think um everybody in the Arrowverse probably needed this refresh for better or for worse. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate what's going on, but I really do think that a lot of people needed this refresh. It just sucks for the crew who's not getting paid. You know. True. That's pretty much what sucks about the whole thing. But I mean, it, like for the whole te- for the whole entertainment industry, it's like the stars will be fine. It's it's the cast, it's the crew, yeah. it's behind the scenes people that are really going to suffer for a while. Because well, yeah, they said it'll be good for Melissa and Danielle who are both pregnant. They'll give them like more time to don't drink that Vancouver water, y'all. <laughs> Yikes! All right, so good season of Legends. I, I thought that it was a shaky start, but they finished it strong, and I really liked the way they took it with the, the fates. I thought that was super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting gods. I mean, when in doubt, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just act supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> and every, every episode, just Bayrod. Ah, I must have smoked some bad stuff. Oh. <laughs> I miss him. I actually liked him. Like, I was kind of, like, thrown off, but I was just like, but you know what? I kind of, he kind of grew on me. Oh well, yeah, well he's still there now, him, right? Him and Nate, yeah, yeah him yeah. and Nate. Though I was just like, oh, you're not Ray, but you know what? Yeah. I'll allow it. He needed a friend, and I guess Nate. I guess they had to they had to go with New Zari because I don't know. Would it be awkward if you know your best bros dating your sister? Uh, Chandler Bing would like to have a word with you, apparently. <laughs> <gasps> Which is what Buds was a, a parody of, I think, personally. Oh yeah, that apartment so looked like the friend's apartment. Yeah. So I think that that was the hint, and then they went the opposite with it. I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So let's get to Jay Garrick. Jay Garrick, yes. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> the original Flash, yes. We saw we saw his uh, – that was an Alex, those those were Alex Ross posters in the, the J, JSA headquarters, right? Absolutely. I was going to say that has, that has to be Alex Ross. I never get tired of that man's artwork. I have, like, literally all of his books. Even the Marvel stuff, yes, even the Marvel stuff. The Marvel stuff, you know, Marvels. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I mean, I read some other stuff, too, but I, I, I did a little sampling of some of the uh, 40s stuff. <laughs> okay, here's my here's my big takeaway on Flash Comics number one. Every time we see, like, a flashback to Jay's origin, it looks like he's working in the lab, you know, and then he gets overcome by those hard water fumes. If you read actual Flash comics number one, he's just, like, leaning against the lab table, smoking a cigarette all little Hellfire style, and, like, doesn't he, like, knock over the hard water? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm surprised you, that's your first time noticing it? Uh, I, I think so. I can't, I mean, if I've read, I don't remember even reading Flash Comics number one before. If I did, it's been years and years ago. So, yeah, I was just like, wait a minute. They've been fooling us all this time. Hey, kids, he wasn't a dedicated scientist. He was a bum. <laughs> um, that's usually how it goes with a lot of those heroes. They happen into it and they make the most of it. That, yeah. That's kind of one of those common threads of the early DC stuff. I mean, at least. Which I appreciate it. Yeah, at least Barry Allen was working. <laughs> Until we get into the other stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Lilith, what was your favorites or what stood out to you about the 1940s stuff? Uh, it's just wholesome and it's fun and it's just people doing good for the sake of doing good, not because their parents died. <laughs> exactly, exactly. When did that go out of style? <laughs> Uh, 1970s apparently. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna say two, what, 2000. Oh no, it, it goes, it goes back way further than than that. But yeah, um, I, I just, I, I don't know, but he is my favorite. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I make no bones about it. Um, Barry's, Barry's a close second, but it's just something about Jay. It's the costume design. It's just his earnestness, his dealings with, um, his rogues gallery. It's just, it's just a, it's just a vibe. It's a big mood. <laughs> yes. Yes. Total package. Yes. Total package. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I did a little bit, uh, smattering of stuff that was in the 1940s. Did you ever read, uh, well, of course, it's from 1990. Do you ever read the Flash 50th anniversary special? Yeah. I thought that that was 
good, but it, it felt like it was lacking something and I couldn't put my finger on it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's you know, there's a story of Jay, Barry, and Wally each have their own separate stories in here, both fighting the same villain. Yeah. <laughs> Just a different... And it was kind of like a throwback to, you know, like, you know, Flash, you know, that, that classic Flash story, but not really. It was just like, oh, you guys could have... Because, like, when they did it in the TV show, I thought that that was so cool that they actually, like, referenced it. <laughs> yes. I d- like, the Jay's... Yeah, the Jay stuff, I think, because they couldn't get any of the original creators, but, like, the Barry Allen story, they actually had uh, Carmine Infantino draw it. <laughs> yeah. So it actually looked like an issue of Barry's Flash. And I think the uh, Wally stuff was his creative team at the time, but... But yeah, if you have I think a lot of people misunderstand Jay. And yes. like that whole motive. And especially like right now, like the like since like maybe two the mid two thousands, like people just really haven't gotten it. Cause you know, original Jay seems so far removed now. Oh yeah. And unimportant, but it's like, no, he's still important to the story. Uh no matter what that Max Mercury thing was. <laughs> um Nice, nice to get your shekels in, but come on, homie. <laughs> but, but I just don't know if, like, when the, if new readers come in now, and it's like, if you get original Jay, it's like, I don't know if they see him as, like, an old man, or it's like, you know, or if they knew. Hey, or- old man Jay, why not? Why not? If old, if old Lady Harley can happen, why not? Super, super old man Jay. There you go. Speed Force keeping him alive. Or it's like, you know, New 52, they try to, like, de-age them at those characters and stuff and it's just like eh, no it's... no he was just stuck he was just stuck in an iceberg and some in suspended animation it's fine we've had it happen before it's fine i got that reference <laughs> <laughs> this is the dumbest thing about captain america i'm not even gonna lie like i just i hate that i hate it and we'll get there when we talk about nova <laughs> oh lord my july is gonna be fun anyway <laughs> But yeah, I also shameless, shameless. <laughs> I know. I also read uh, Flash One Sixty One from Wally series. Yeah, Wally's. Now I don't know. Wally for me was a, a a shaky start just because of how the whole Barry thing went down with you know Crisis on Infinite Earth. So it's just like, mm, mm, I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, like in Legends and stuff, it seemed like they were gonna like I don't know, ha- write Wally as like you know almost like Barry just a little slower but then like the Flash series started and they just like paint him as a huge jerk it's just like you know yeah. and it took how many years to say oh yeah he's just afraid of replacing Barry and you know that that's where you should have started cause it just I just couldn't yeah. I couldn't well I think it took Mark Wade coming on board to, uh... oh yeah remember when Mark was just like yeah. yeah his body of work he had so much potential ahead of him just but yeah, no, this, this this one is from when uh, Wally and Linda, I guess, are on their honeymoon. So uh, Jay's telling uh, Max Mercury and Paul's and Jesse Quick about his wedding and honeymoon. <laughs> How Oliver Queen of you. <laughs> so him and, uh, oh, come on, Lil. If he, uh, him and Joan uh, honeymooned in Las Vegas. I mean, there's there's better places and there's worse places. It's, you know, when you're when you're a superhero on a balling on a budget, why not? Well, he said back then it was, you know, it was the 40s. So it was like it's just some small little sleepy town. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't Vegas like it is now. Well, heck, up until like, I think 2010, you could actually still, they still had a place for your horses on the outskirt casino. So, you know, that's. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas isn't what you think it is, <laughs> and of course, and of course, Vegas is even where you th- where you think it is. Like, oh. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> so anyway, the JSA shows up to drag him off to an adventure. <laughs> As you do, man. Screw that old ball and chain. <laughs> really, little <love> Hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. If it's good enough for Mary Jane. It's good enough for everybody else. <laughs> It's just so weird. That was very Mary Jane S to me. I don't know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Circuit the burn arrow, if you will. <laughs> it's just like you know, because it's so weird. Cause it's a flashback, and it's like you know, in the present day, it's like Joan is an old lady. <laughs> like, I have feelings, unexpected feelings. <laughs> it's like looking at uh, laundry pictures of your grandma. It's, it's <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, because uh, yeah. It's, it's a whole adventure at this Mawbone Casino, but of course, uh, who's it? Fiddler, The Shade, and uh, is it The Thinker Show? <laughs> oh, remember when I had high hopes for The Thinker? Silly me. 
They just dragged on that prison storyline too long, Loho. And then at the same time, not long enough. True. <laughs> so True. weird. Well, they, uh, thank God they didn't go as long as the comics did. Well, true. But at least, at least I like Cecile now. I still hate comic book Cecile with a passion. <laughs> Hashtag never forget, never forgive, never surrender. Even though she's a redhead. Wow. I know. I know. It's just incompetent redhead, though. Like, come yes. on. Uh, oh, and the last thing I read, uh, it's very apropos because not only is Jake Eric in it, but also, uh, well, she was the Star Spangled Kid, I believe, before Stargirl, but, uh, the first volume of, uh, Jeff John's JSA. Dude, I don't know how many people I know that don't, haven't actually read it, and I'm just like, do you even comic book, bro? Do you even DC comic book, bro? Exactly. It's like some of the best stuff. I love his his attention to detail and care. You could just he he see that's the thing about Jeff. He loves to kind of take obscure characters, ideas, and themes from the past of DC and really like flesh it out and give it new life. Mm-hmm. And like as a person who loves the Golden Age, how can you not love that particular JSA book? Oh wait a minute, is John Jeff Johns is he even the writer though? Is he? Oh, am I thinking of the other one? Oh, um, James Ro- or is it James Robinson and uh, Goyer? <laughs> oh, that one. Okay. What's the first one where they, you know, they bring back JSA for the modern age? Oh, eh, that was a little shaky. <laughs> but I mean, if that you're, one was shaky. Yeah, but I mean, if you're an Arrowverse fan, I mean, Jay Garrick's in here. Uh, well, Courtney's in, Whitmore's in here. Uh, Hawk? You know what? Honestly, though, hmm. it's it, and, and Jay Garrick. They didn't do him justice. Well, I think they. <laughs> Get in the it. Arrowverse, but oh, they never do Jay Garrick like as a as a peripheral character justice. He just has so many other like subtle nuances and and, and, and kind of you know quirks and foibles that like I don't know people just don't pick up on. Well, they don't like long term plan for Jay. It just seems like it's like do they even know if he's still alive <laughs> after the whole multiverse? Do they care? Ex- <laughs> do they care? <laughs> Until they need him, man. I don't know. Secretly, it was him holding the Speed Force together the whole time. But whatever. That's my head cannon. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you know, if they want to bring him back, that's what they're going to do. Even if his universe got uh, erased, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, he, him and Joan took refuge in the Speed Force. I mean, why not? Now, who's going to... Speed Force is literally the ultimate convenient plot <gasps> point is convenient that but, I've ever seen in modern day stories, comic book storytelling. <laughs> but, the speed for- <laughs> but the Speed Force is dead. It's never dead. I know. You can't destroy energy. Come on. True. Come on. True. <laughs> but who's going to punch through that wall? <laughs> Bring him home. <laughs> well, Je- you know, just find your lightning rod and hold on tight. You know what I'm saying? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, someone's going to punch a speed force wall, and I don't know who we're going to bring back to life. Uh, <laughs> Ra- R- Ronnie Raymond. <laughs> Ed. There's worse people. Eddie There's th- worse people. Eddie thought. Oh my god, shut up. Shut up. Uh. Never speak that name again. As much as I love that character, never speak that name again. All right. So Hashtag still bitter. Exactly. Always. Lilith, always bitter. Anyway. <laughs> All right, before we get out of here, Lilith, any Jay Garrick recommendations you want to make? Uh, the list is like way too long. Maybe I will make a Facebook post. Oh, nice. Um, I'd yeah, I think I'm going to make a Facebook post, guys. So be sure to go check out our page. And then while you're there, if you have not liked it, which I think a lot of you haven't, please feel free to smash that button. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yes, next, well, next week we're doing a uh, Before the Bat, the big Batman 497. And if you don't know what that means, do you even comic book? Uh, do you even DC comic book, bro? Do you? <laughs> And then, then in two weeks, we'll cover, what, the next two episodes of Stargirl and showcase number four, the first appearance of Barry Allen. Yeehaw! He wasn't standing around smoking. <laughs> smoking had fallen somewhat out of favor. Somewhat. <laughs> but smoking never really goes anywhere, unfortunately, so. <laughs> Not in Florida. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, send us your thoughts on all of that. Like Lil said, follow the Legends of the Arrowverse. Uh, keep up to date on everything we're doing. Uh, e- and then email us your thoughts. Uh, hey, Ray, I know you're Marvel, but you can even uh, send your thoughts, Ray. Uh, email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com. 
Call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And follow Legends of the Arrowverse, follow Before the Bat, follow all of our stuff, find links for everything, all in one convenient place. That's Linktree, L-A-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support the sponsors, Tweaked Audio, Hunt a Killer, Pod Life the Book, Volume 1, now in digital and paperback. And when you buy anything off Amazon, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. It helps... Support this show, the network, and Rob, Master Doom Southgate. You can go back and look at my history, and you will find out I am right so much more often than I'm wrong. Mark my words. can't believe he had, he didn't, he had to leave. He could have did that live. All right, Lil Hellfire. <laughs> um, if you nerds want to hang out with me on the interwebs, um, you can find me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire or over on Instagram with the cool kids um, at Lil Hellfire 86 or at Lil Hellfire 69 because I'm a <laughs> child. <laughs> need to get my unpopular opinion out of my mouth <laughs> ruby rose did nothing wrong but that woman needed a refresh anyway there you go <laughs> scream it all right uh thank you everyone I said come back in one week for batman 497 all right it's right right here don't be a snap uh and come back in two weeks. Showcase number four. And two more episodes of Stargirl. Stargirl's so good. If you're not watching it, feel free to watch it. It's so cool that it's a family show. It's kind of like season one of The Flash, honestly. Exactly. Without all the weird siblings. Stuff. Even Charlie Esther can follow along. And... He's, like I said, he's not the hugest DC fan, so. And Luke Wilson, come on. Every, every, like, I don't know, this baby's manic pixie dream boy. Oh. <laughs> that is his role he was born to play. Just leave it with that.